After speaking to business stakeholders about the impact of year of return, we decided to speak to members of the communities, including some of the shopkeepers, taxi drivers, and chiefs who are leaders of these communities to find out what they think about the impact of year of return. We are in Asin Mansu now. This is a place where the slaves used to have their last bath before shipment to the American. So this place has become a tourist center and a very, very important place in the history of Ghana, which is now attracting a lot of people from all walks of life. Just to come and have a look at the slave yard, the entire environment and where the slave actually had their last bath. So right from the beginning of the year, January, it's attracted a lot of people, people from all walks of life, people from the other institutions, some of our brothers from the diaspora, they all came down here just to come and have a fill of what went on over here. Me de sister ya, me frasen manso, me ton abrobe, eni kwedu, watamilo fruit biya me ton bi. Last year no, e dom ama, a fie we di e dom ba pa, en si san bem, e jeme ka fwane ba, ni amro fune different difference ba, e kosu ye, o muto adia pa, nyema ko ye. Ye fran me sister ya, me frasen manso, me ton kushu ya, Ada must first any scene. It's ya wada. Into ya wada now, cause I first work at no. Aha ye, aha ye, she. But me ne sika, me ne for so be brave. So into next year, me bump by a cent to be a no be a so into me plan ye chance. The mother and now do what that's and that Oh, I'm a yake first no. Then that is I'm a you mean no. The me year of the time, the me only me need to pay. Especially me now, I'm poor. This year has been like amazing. With the year of return, ever since it was introduced, it has brought lots of people into the country and income has been boosted. Even vendors around the area, they've been making good money. What really stands out for me is it's so good that people will call you from all over. We want you to do these tours, that tours, and you know, it boosts our income. This year is far better. We have a lot of people visiting. Even I learned that in December, more are coming. I can see the impact because a lot of people are coming. A lot of people are coming. So Chief Festival is an Mabus Festival. It's normally celebrated in the second week of October. And we just celebrated it. I saw a lot of people trooping into this place. And it is boosting our local economy. the <laughs> Before the return, business Oh, it's very, very good idea. There will be fee. Because in pain for baby, they couldn't do me near Ninchiana Echo. I am a wabby fee and a wabby head the Echo. So, first of all, I would like to commend our president for that initiative because I see it as a break from the shackles, from the prison of mediocrity. And it was in a good direction, but we need to all get on board, and that's the only way we can keep it going. Elmina being part of tourism in Ghana, a lot of visitors do come here. But this year, after the announcement that the year had been declared a year of return by our president, Nana Akufuado, the influx of people coming to Elmina doubled, if not tripled. It's good for the local economy too. When they come, at least they eat our local restaurants, stay in our hotels. I think it's a very, very good idea. It's brought our brothers and sisters in the diaspora back home. And this is what the whole thing is about. They were here with us, and through no fault of theirs, they were taken away. And it's about time they came home and know exactly where they belong so that if they make up their minds to come back home, they know they are coming home.